Caught on camera surveillance video shot early this morning shows two would be ATM thieves trying to drag that machine through the door of a crab shop in Canton. But what they didn't expect cost them the whole job. Welcome to the news at 11, everyone. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Vic Carter. We've seen it over and over again crooks breaking into a business, grabbing the ATM, and walking out the door with it before trying to take the money out of the machine. The in latest incident happening in Canton. WJZ News live at 11. Kelsey Kushner on the story for us tonight in front of the business where this happened. And Kels, you heard from that shop owner who says the suspects didn't get as much as they hoped. What happened there? Yeah, Rick, Vic. Well, I did talk to the shop owner here of Chris's Seafood. She tells me that usually every night she empties out that ATM just to make sure that nothing like this happens. But unfortunately, last night she wasn't as lucky. She says that those two suspects actually took a brick, went through this glass door here, climbed inside. They tried to take that ATM, but realized it was empty. They got the cash register, though, and left with just a little bit of cash. So here's the ATM. The key is in it. It's unlocked and it's empty. Stacy Guzman has owned Chris's Seafood in Baltimore City for almost 35 years with her father, who recently passed away. Early Tuesday morning, she became the city's latest victim of an attempted ATM theft. Every day, the violence and the crime in the city is getting out of control. Surveillance video captures the moment two suspects pulled up to the shop just after 1 a.m. They then threw a brick through the front door, climbed inside, and ripped the ATM from the ground to try and steal it. When they realized the ATM was open, and empty, they ditched that idea and went to the cash register. They yanked it out, change started falling out, they threw it in the back of the car and they took up off of Essex Street. Guzman says she posted the surveillance video online and a short time later. The, yeah, those two are definitely related. Evan Eskridge came forward saying he believes it was his car the suspect stole to use in the crime. You feel you feel violated, honestly. I mean, obviously the, the car being gone is one thing, but uh, when you actually see someone else driving it and going away with it, that just is devastating. The two are now working together with police to try to track down whoever did this. I just want my car back. Now, police have not yet confirmed for us if, in fact, the two are related, and that was Evans' car that was used to commit that crime. Investigators say that they are still going through that surveillance video to try to track down those suspects. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.